Hi, my name is Rick O'Leary. I'm one of the owners and founder of Hoosier Armory. We'd like to welcome you to one of our first uh, video casts we're going to be doing. Today we're going to be talking about really some NFA items and I want to do introduce you to what uh, the National Firearms Act is. It was instituted in 1934 as a result of the crime wave of Machine Gun Kelly and Al Capone and in that area and they tried to the government really wanted to um, restrict these types of items, but they couldn't ban them altogether, so they t imposed a tax on them. So back in 1934, there was a $200 tax stamp instituted for an NFA item, which governs suppressors, machine guns, and short-barreled rifles. Uh, and today, with infl inflation, that's about a $3,400 tax. So with inflation, it's become a lot more affordable to be able to uh, obtain these items. And that's one of the reasons why they're so popular. But today, we're going to be talking about um, uh, a suppressor and its host. I have a SIG P226 MK25, the Navy SEAL version, the civilian version of, of the Navy SEAL. Uh, firearm and as usual we always check to make sure handguns are clear and unloaded so every host needs to have a threaded barrel and and on this firearm it's a, a metric threaded and it's a left hand as well so we're going to remove the thread cap to expose the attachment point um, on the pistol itself so Today we're going to be also talking about, we could be using any suppressor. There's many, many fine manufacturers. Uh, we have a Silencer Co. Osprey 45 in stock, so we're going to talk about that today. This is the Silencer Co. Osprey 45, and it is probably the most uh, popular suppressor in the market today because it's so flexible. 